my god. <laughs> is that... Is that a well cared for plant? <laughs> wow. I really want to support this YouTuber. She like really has her life together. Oh man, today we are... We're kicking it old school, alright? We're going back to early 2010 YouTube. Beautiful time. Today, we're gonna be filming a uh, what's in my bag video. So here's the thing. <laughs> I've avoided this video for my entire YouTube career. I, frankly, can only say bag so many times with a subtle Canadian accent before I just go full big. So we're just, we're taking it to another level here today. You know, we're all pals. It's cool, no one's going to drag me through the mud for my Canadian accent, thank you so much. We're gonna be focusing mostly on what's in my actual makeup bag because uh, you will see how tragic <laughs> my actual bag is. This here is my day-to-day -day bag. It's very dirty on the bottom because I throw it wherever. There is a teddy bear charm because I'm a child. <laughs> This bag was actually like the best investment of life. It's so like just tiny. I fucking love a backpack. I look stupid with a purse. I am not classy enough. Jamie Page, how do you do it? Don't understand. It resists my careless behavior. I don't know, man. I have a closet full of like nice lady purses and um, I don't wear them ever. It's the only thing I'll ever love. Okay, in my bag. I have four lip balms. Let's see, we got the Pat McGrath lip balm. Nice. Sugar coconut hydrating lip balm. Lovely, excellent. Little trip to the tropics, if you don't mind. The Lano Lips tinted lip balm in rose. And, you know, just a, just a classic MAC lip conditioner. My YMCA membership. I frequent the gym, frankly, um, if you can't tell by my <clears throat> physique. I can't stop being healthy. It's incredible. That's why I always have my gym card on hand. Looks awful new, doesn't it? Oh, uh-oh. Oh boy. A little bit of the Royal Canadian Mint in my, uh, in my bag. Why don't we just traipse our way into some Canadian facts for you? Here we have a toonie. Yes, that's what we actually call it. Ah, the elusive loony. Yes, that's what we actually call it. So this is like a $2 coin, $1 coin. We don't fucks with that uh, $1 fucking cashola bill thing. I don't fucking like the $1 bill, man. This is why I feel like every time I have like American money, I take it out and I'm like, damn man, I'm stacking paper. And then I'm like, oh no, I just have $7. Anyways, and then we have a nickel which has a beaver on it and our quarter which has a moose. My car keys. That's a flex. Horrible investment. Pretty upset about it. <laughs> oh, oh. Here we go. I have a, uh, a candy wrapper right next to my gym membership. I have a NYX lip liner. This is in the shade 810. It's completely rubbed off, so you would never be able to tell that, but it's perfect. Everyone watching this is like, okay, cool. So I could have gone through my own bag for the same experience. Oh, here we go. Okay, I have 13 crumpled receipts. I am rich. Our money is plastic. People think that's also cool. There is a vicious rumor being spread that if you scratch this maple leaf that it smells like maple syrup. That is a lie. It probably just smells like maple products because it has changed hands of one too many Canadians. Cool, okay. Oh, a used cotton pad with a dog hair on it. I have my passport. Uh, I always have my passport on me, don't know why, it is a fucking thing. Here was the mistake of a century. I decided to put a, uh, gosh, a top knot in my passport, my, my 10 year passport. I suspect that that style will not be in style for 10 years, so I'm gonna go fuck myself. <laughs> I have my little card holder. I don't keep a wallet, um, I just keep this little card holder and I have my credit cards in there, which I'm not gonna show on camera. <laughs> I also have my BC services card. That's for free healthcare, sorry America. Wasn't that fun and cool? Here's my makeup bag. This is moderately more exciting. If I carry a makeup bag, I carry this makeup bag right here. It's from MAC, it's very old, it's very, uh, very, very stained on the inside. This inside used to be like a bright magenta pink. Oh, here's the color it used to be. Oh. That's grosser than I'd like to admit. Oh, perfect, I have 
Four more lip balms. <laughs> so this is the uh, Ilia Balmy Days, one of my faves. Lano Lips in Perfect Nude. The Pharmacy Lip Balm and the Glossier Birthday Cake Lip Balm. I usually rotate out whatever kind of like nude lipsticks I'm wearing at the time. So in here right now I have the Marc Jacobs uh, Lip Gloss Stick in Sugar Sugar. Mentioned this on my channel multiple times. I'll swatch these all beside each other so you can see how useless they all are. That's Sugar Sugar there. Oh fuck, I love it so much. Ooh, then I have my MAC lipstick. I collaborated with MAC mm, in 2017 and this is the color I made. I still wear it every day. <laughs> Never discontinued for me, biatch. And then, MAC Blankety Obvisa. Uh, I have that one in my arsenal right now too. I have the iconic MAC Mirror. People always ask me like what product this is and it's literally just like a powder that I don't actually use. I just, I exclusively use it for the mirror and people are like, why don't you just get a mirror? And no, absolutely not. I get oddly attached to mirrors. I don't know why. I used to have a Zoeva one that was broken in half and so it was only the mirror part. And I just, I lost that one. That's why I stopped using it and started using the MAC one. But um, I don't know, man. I just get super like weirdly attached and I feel like I fucking cannot do makeup in any other mirror. So I have my MAC mirror. Ooh, I have my LC Complete Remedy Silk Concealer. That goes everywhere with me. I feel like this one like is really good for like touching up my makeup as well. I usually just like bring a beauty blender with me except for I don't have one anymore because my dog chewed up three of them. But anyways, I feel like this one layers really well like over top of old makeup. That sounds fucking gnarly, but like, you know some things when you layer them, they look patchy and gross. I feel like this just like refreshes your makeup and it goes on over top of old makeup quite well. So I always keep that in my bag. I have Glossier Boy Brow. Oh my God, like look how tragic this is. Glossier Boy Brow in brown. This is like empty, but I just don't want to get rid of it um, because I want to remind myself to buy more. I have Benefit Gimme Brow. I have the Kaja Medium Brown brow gel. You can really tell like what I'm prioritizing here, lip balms and brow gels. Two lip liners. I don't wear lip liners. It, it doesn't appear that way, clearly. It looks like I fucking wear lip liners, doesn't it? I fucking don't. I have two lip liners in there, MAC Subculture and Makeup Forever Completely Sepia. I think it's because I just did like a video with using those or some shit. I don't, I don't know. Two types of tweezers. I have these tweezers for brows and for putting lashes on. And then I have these tweezers for squishing lashes together because here's the story. My eyes are so watery. So when they're getting all watery and my lash starts to lift off, I just take this guy and I go, I squish it together. The glue gets tacky again from my tears. And then I just squish it onto my real eyelashes so that it won't come off. I have my Hourglass Caution Mascara, which is also destroyed. I need to pick up a new one of these as well. It's like horrifically dry. It, it needs to be, I need to replace it. <laughs> I don't know what to say. This mascara, it literally just fucking obliterated all of my other fave mascaras. I used to keep, actually mascara was something that I kept a lot of in my bag. I used to have like four different mascaras in my bag at all times. Now I only ever keep this one because it's truly the only mascara I use and I cannot imagine living without it. Please don't discontinue it hourglass or I will kill your family. I'll be hurt in a lasting way. Ooh. I have my very grimy eyelash glue. This is the eyelash glue from Japan. Uh, it's the best. I don't want to ever live without it. <laughs> this video is really filled with dramatics. Anyway, this is the eyelash glue called DUP. It's so fucking good. Um, you know who used to have the best lash glue was Hourglass. No, no, not Hourglass. Fuck that shit, fuck that shit. House of Lashes, they used to have the best lash glue. They had one that was latex free and when you put it onto your eyelash, it looked blue, but it was clear and it was so, good that it was almost like frightening, like what's in this kind of thing. One time, my friend Alyssa was wearing that eyelash glue with eyelashes and um, someone, we were on a boat, someone dropped uh, whiskey <laughs> all over her face and eyes and her eyelashes stayed intact. It was pretty bizarre. It was the best, um, especially if you have watery eyes because normally like my lashes kind of like detach throughout the day. My lashes never fucking lifted with that lash glue and then guess what happened? They fucking reformulated it, man. I don't know. I don't know what the makeup industry has against me. So many of you guys have been asking me to do a video with my like my favorite products that have been discontinued. And I've been like writing down a list of all the products that have been discontinued that I loved. Why is it that all of the best things are targeted? I feel like the problem is I start loving something just on the like tail end when they're like, oh, nobody's buying this. And then I'm like, but hold on. And then they're like, it's too fucking late. My heart gets broken every time and sooner or later I'm going to quit makeup because I'm sick of it. And then I have one singular, <laughs> 
Smith 230 brush because I'll go like this whoop, whoop, and put some on my little watery eyes. I'll put whatever's left on this brush on my eyes. I mean, I think nowadays I just kind of stick to the philosophy that I would rather have just kind of makeup day to day that's like super easy to touch up. Um, really like just like simple basically. So a lot of the times like if I've been out kind of all day and I just need like a quick kind of touch up because I'm going on to do something else, I'll just like run some brow gel through really quick, pop on another kind of layer of mascara, usually on my bottom lashes and then just like lip balm or lipstick. But honestly, I find myself more and more not even bringing my makeup bag these days. I just stick with my 42 lip balms in my bag because I feel like when I was younger, it kind of got to a point where like, I always carried like a huge makeup bag with me and I'll get into that in a second. But I just felt like I couldn't even live my, my life, honestly, because I never felt like my makeup looked perfect because fucking obviously I'm like out living my life touching my nose, rubbing my face, going like this. So it's like your makeup moves around, you know? And I felt like I was focusing so much on trying to touch up my makeup all the time that it was like impeding my ability to enjoy my life. <laughs> I used to travel. This would have been interesting like a, a few years ago. I used to travel with a full, like I'm not joking you, full makeup bag. I would travel with enough stuff so that I could actually have my makeup completely removed and redo it start to finish. Like absolutely every product was in my makeup bag. I used to be super fucking weird about people seeing me without makeup on to the point, oh, this is gonna get depressing. Oh, we're going, we're going too far down memory lane. Taking a right on Feelsville Street. I used to be super weird about people seeing me without makeup on to the extent of me going over to sleepovers at my friend's house and going to bed with full makeup on. Not even like, oh, I left my brows, my foundation on or some shit. Like I would, I would go to bed with winged eyeliner and lashes on. Yeah, pretty fucking dope. And then I would just go over whatever needed to be like touched up in the morning and that's how I lived my life. If someone had told me when I was like 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, that I would be going fresh faced 99% of the time, I would be like, well, you're fucking high. <laughs> It's so interesting how things change. Also, I so deeply regret uh, wearing very, very full coverage foundation when I had the most beautiful, perfect, luscious child skin. Mwah, mwah, mwah. So good. And now here we are and I'm an acne scarred angel and I want to die. And lately, like these days, I just find myself caring less and less about stuff like that. Like I don't care if my makeup looks a little smudgy, a little lived in because I would rather that than not be focusing on the moment because I'm so concerned about what's moving on my face. And I feel like people ask me all the time. It's like one of the main questions I get in my DMs or my comments. People are like, oh, you can come say hi to the camera, Gavin. Hi. This is my pal, Gavin. If you guys uh, remember him, I know there'll be some new people here who haven't met him yet, but this is my friend, Gavin. Well, I want you to say a happy Christmas and a Merry Christmas. Happy Christmas and a Merry Christmas. And a happy New Year. There you have it. Gavin and Matt hang out sometimes. They're little buddies. Oh yeah, all the time people message me asking me like how I wear my skin so dewy and how it doesn't slip off my face. It does, bro. <laughs> I just don't care. Leave me alone. I honestly just don't care. This is the thing that I've noticed is that when I used to wear like really full coverage foundation and I would powder it um, and I would wear like really full coverage concealer, like a matte lipstick, all that kind of stuff, I noticed that when that came off, it looked like Garbage. My skin would look so textured and patchy and like so obvious when parts of my foundation had rubbed off. Um, my lips would look really dry and like there'd be like that kind of butthole situation happening in the center. It just always looked bad. So I was so much more focused and worried about my makeup looking better. And I find that since I've been wearing like sheer coverage and just like a nice kind of like glossy sheer lip and stuff like that, when my makeup does wear off, I barely notice anymore because it's just like there wasn't that much makeup there to begin with. It's called uh, letting yourself go. <laughs> oh, JK. Oh, look who came to join the party. It's the Kuma girl. Kuma girl, what's in your makeup bag? Oh, nothing, you're naturally beautiful. Well, this is a nice cameo, isn't it? Just a casual dog positioned behind me. <laughs> Uh, oh, really there's just no rhyme or reason to my videos. <laughs> this is Kuma's world, we're just living in it. This was so unbelievably informational. Uh, I have never produced better content for my channel. First of all, you're welcome. Secondly, I don't know, come at me, the rest of YouTube. This 
this can't be replicated, you know? I just am, I just am a good YouTuber. <laughs> oh, let me collect all my lip balms. I'm just trying to flesh out this video. I'm just talking at this point because I don't know what else to do, so. Thank you guys for hanging on chatting. I hope you enjoyed this video. Truthfully, I mean, here's the thing. If you really want to know what took place here, I put my extensions in today and then I was like, well, this seems like I can't pass up the opportunity to film. Anyways, I'm going to leave. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out and chatting and watching and uh, I'll see you next time. Okay, peace out. Bye.